everybody, I'm Mark Lowry, and I want to invite you to join me for my very first cruise. This will be the first time I get to host a cruise all by myself. If you love a sunny Caribbean vacation, powerful music, delicious food, inspiring moments, and me, then Mark Lowry's Spring Fling Cruise is for you. This is going to be the most unforgettable adventure of our lives, and we get to share it together. Can you imagine a five-night cruise on a luxurious cruise ship with me and my friends? Escape the cold weather and come sail the sunny seas with me. Joining me for this week of celebration are some of my favorite artists on the planet. I'm bringing the Martins, who are known for their family harmony and heart-melting vocal blend. Taranda Green, whose powerhouse voice blows me away every time I hear her. The Ball Brothers are going to be there, who will bring their energetic harmonies, plus my favorite pianist in the world, Stan Whitmire. Also, I'm bringing my pastor, Brett Jones, and I am so excited to introduce him to you because he'll engage us in thought-provoking moments and messages about Jesus that I know will leave you hopeful and encouraged. Turquoise waters will surround us and gorgeous sunsets will amaze us, not to mention the miles and miles of sunny beaches and charming ports. Oh, and I'm also already planning some outrageously fun events like pajama karaoke night and the not-so-newlywed game where some of our featured artists will be contestants. Our ship for this five-night cruise will be on the Royal Caribbean's Independence of the Seas, and it is incredible. It is a destination within itself. This ship serves scrumptious food. Seriously, if you know me at all, you know how much I love to eat. But this ship also offers some of my favorite restaurants on board, like Johnny Rockets and Chops Grill Steakhouse and Portofino Italian. They even have a Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And every time you turn around, there's a buffet staring at you. And if you start feeling guilty about eating all that good food and want to work off some of those calories, the ship also provides a wide array of fun activities like rock climbing walls, a mini golf course, four swimming pools, and a surf simulator. And whenever you want to relax and pamper yourself, there are six whirlpools, the Vitality Day Spa, Broadway-style shows in the theater, and so much more that I can't even list it all here. We will set sail from sunny Fort Lauderdale, Florida, known for its convenience to flights and cruise ports, and we will sail for five glorious nights. Along the way, we'll visit Royal Caribbean's own beachfront property on the shores of Haiti, which offers zip lining, beach bungalows, cabanas, and much more. Then we will sail to Jamaica to take in glorious waterfalls, beaches, water sports, and local cuisine you're sure to love. So, are you ready to vacation with me? Call and book your cabin right now because the best cabins disappear first. Or visit www.marklowrycruise.com. Call today and I'll see you on the independence of the seas. Well, hello. Oh, goodness. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hey, hey, this is Mark. Thank God it's Mondays. Mondays with Mark. Hello, everybody. I see you coming in. Hello, Sarah Randall from Canada. Michelle Yerger from Creamer. Let's see what that's. Let me see if I can figure this. Creamer. And share this. Please share the video, y'all. Share it. Uh, because that's how we get past all those Facebook algorithms. You know, they've got those algorithms. So a lot of people aren't being notified when we go live. And also, I want to encourage you to go to marklowry.com and sign up for the email, the email uh, list, so uh, you know I can reach you that way. I hope you're having a good Monday. I am in Las Vegas right now. Uh, I was in Phoenix last night. Q's over Saturday there. Night. Look, everybody, there's Q. Q Phillips. Hello. I was there Saturday night. Saturday. Friday night I was in Tucson. And then we were in Albuquerque on Thursday. 
and Albuquerque on Thursday. They were good concerts. I just didn't remember where they were. You know, when you turn 59, it's hard to remember everything. Uh, let me see what I, I want to make sure you share the video. Share this video. Please do that. Share it to all your people on your Facebook right now. And let you know that next week, next Monday night, Wes Hampton and all of his children and his wife, his first wife, will also be there. His only wife, Q said. And, uh, and uh, so that's going to be good. And you, and please sign up for the cruise. I'd love to see you go on that cruise in March of 2019. That's going to be a lot of fun. And let me tell you real quick before we get to the Easter's, I want to show you. Hold on a second. And I'm glad they're here. The Easter's have taken it. Jeff and Sherry. Oh, I want to show you where I am right now. Grand Canyon. Look. See there? I just saw the Grand Canyon. And see how I turn that off. And I got to show you this. Here's a video I took of the Grand Canyon. Isn't that pretty? That's the Grand Canyon, y'all. And everybody was talking about. Oh, now I'm back on that page again. I don't know why. Hey, I, you can tell I'm still learning how to do this. Thank you all for tuning in, y'all. There's 391 of you right now. It says. Tony Wood, hello from Northern Ireland. How cool is that? Hello, Tony Wood. Let me move that over there. Just get rid of that. Hey, Tony Wood in Northern Ireland. Nice to see you. Who else is here? Johnson City. There's uh, Julie Tester, Paula Shepard. She says, wow. Hello from Clifton, Texas. Hello, Donna Manis. Thank you all for tuning in. And let's see here where I'm going to be this weekend. This weekend I will be in Tulsa. Let me show you that graphic. We have graphics. Oh, there it is. Not very big. I'm going to make it bigger. I'll be in Tulsa the 16th in Branson, Missouri on the, what is that? On the 17th. And so please come out and see me. I'd love to see you. I love Branson. It's going to be fun. Q will be there. I will be there. It's going to be a great time. Uh, let's see. What else have I got? Oh, y'all. What are we going to do in Vegas? You know what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Going to eat. Going to eat, mainly. <laughs> let's see. Uh, check. Oh, our foreign correspondent, y'all. Let's check in before we see Jeff and Sherry. Here's our sweet friend, Tor. Hi. This is Tori Tapp, your foreign correspondent on the ground, quite literally, from Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite small town things in the world, which are festivals. Now, every small town I know depends on tourism to keep them alive, and Bell Buckle's no different. We have some big ones. We have, uh, in the fall, there's a arts and crafts show that literally brings 120,000 people into this little town of 450, which is kind of nuts, but it's really fun. We have the famous Moon Pie RC Cola Festival. Mark is our reigning 2017 Moon Pie King. And uh, I don't want to name drop, but I am a former Moon Pie Queen myself. And then there's the little ones. There's chili cook-offs, and there's rummage sales, and there's my personal favorite, which is Daffodil Day. And that is March 17th, this March 17th, Saturday. And it's kind of to celebrate the onset of spring in Tennessee, which is just embarrassingly beautiful time of year. First thing that happens is the daffodils come out. As you can see, they're everywhere. Webb School is a historic, very prestigious school here. It's a private boarding school here in Bellbuckle. It was founded in about 1870 by a man named Sonny Webb. This small school has produced like 11 Rhodes Scholars. Its honor code was adopted by Princeton University. And the history says that Sonny Webb, in order to punish the boys who were acting up a little bit, he gave them a tote sack full of daffodil bulbs and a shovel and had them go out all the roads in coming into Bell Buckle, he had them dig and plant daffodil bulbs. That was his discipline for rowdy boys in the 1800s. It's paid off nicely for all of us because look, here's some of them here. 
and they're all over town. So we celebrate spring by celebrating daffodils here in Bell Buckle. Daffodil Day has a contest and people take it very seriously where we have judges come in and people bring their specimens of daffodils and they judge them and write down on clipboards and award prizes and ribbons. We also have an Arbor Day giveaway. So there's these little they call them trees, they're actually sticks, but if you plant them, they turn into trees. They give them away for free. We have a few little vendors around. I think we have some kettle corn or something else, but basically it's a day for all of the shop owners to welcome you into their store, walk around up and down the streets, and enjoy springtime in Tennessee. So that's about it. I'll talk to you next time, and remember, everybody needs a little bell buckle in their lives. That's our foreign correspondent, Tori Taff. Every show needs a foreign correspondent. If you've never been to Bell Buckle, it's a riot. And I am the reigning king. Hey, do you remember king of the... What was it, Moon Pie? Moon Pie King. Moon Pie King. That's the only kind of king I can get. Uh, listen, y'all. Remember when I was in Hawaii and I saw, showed y'all that little bird? That little bird on the attitude of gratitude? Look how big that bird's gotten. That's the little bird I saw when it was an egg, and then it was hatched, and then I kept showing y'all videos of that. And also, I want to tell you, if you haven't got your Mark Lowry bobblehead yet, go to marklowry.com and uh, go to the store, slash store, I think we'll do it, and you can get your Mark Lowry bobblehead so you can set it on the front of your uh, dash, and I will judge you while you drive. Just sit there and shake my head at you. So you need to go to marklowry.com and get that. Right before we go to the Easter's, I want to play you something that is just so sweet. I wish we were closer to Father's Day so y'all could see this. Before we get to Jeff and Sherry and Morgan, and Morgan's going to tell us all about being a newlywed, and Jeff's going to tell us about his cat, which I hear is going to be a hysterical story because I've heard it before. That's how I hear that. So here is Jeff and his dad, y'all. All right, there we go. We're good. Did you get saved in here? One time. <laughs> You taught me to laugh At the stories you told Wanted you to be warm In a world that was cold You taught me My heart filled with love Like father, like son Two roads become one The old and the young The father and the son Two roads 
did that for you Like father, like son Two road to become one The old and the young The father and the son sweetest thing you've ever seen isn't that precious i love that i love seeing that i love that that old man can sing jeff and sherry easter.com y'all is where you can find that and look who is with me now jeff and sherry easter and morgan can i hear you oh wait i don't gotta turn you up there you are can i hear you now <laughs> hello how's, are we it, there? how's everything in georgia Wonderful. A little rainy wonderful. Okay, it's breaking up a little. So, uh, Jeff, before we get going and we lose our Wi-Fi signal, I'm in Vegas, and I think I've got a good Wi-Fi signal. I'm getting rid of my gum. But uh, you, tell me, you're on your, you're on a phone, right? Hello. Uh, because, and, yeah, uh, we're using our phone as a hot. <laughs> I think I'm losing you now. We had you good up till now. Oh no. Well, can you let's see? Try and let's see. Oh, I don't know what to do, y'all. Hello. The signal's not coming through now. After all that. Oh my. Hey, Easter's. I love you. Well, at least Priscilla Bacon says she loves y'all. Y'all, we've lost them. Are you there? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, somebody call Q Phillips. FaceTime Q Phillips. Okay? All right, we're going to go back to me. Y'all, I don't know what happened. Let's ask some questions. I wish, oh, here. Let's see, what's this big old long question say? I wish your mama could be here to witness all that you have accomplished. Oh, I am sure she's your guardian. I hope she's not my guardian angel. I don't want her following me everywhere. She's tried to follow me everywhere I went all the time. No, I know she's kicking up gold dust. Okay. Oh, here, wait. Let's see if we can get them now. All right. All right, y'all. Let me see. Here, let's wait. Here, wait. Hold on. Are you there? I'm here. Oh, We're here. good, 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 good. That I thank you for calling back. Okay, now we were talking about. Let's. I want to get to the cat story, Jeff. You have a story yeah. about a cat. Yes, cat named Puddin. David Phelps gave Morgan here a cat when she was a little girl, fifteen years ago. Puddin. Uh, so David Phelps gave us the cat and said it was a girl cat. We found out later that it was a boy cat. So we took it when it was ten weeks old to the vet to get the cat neutered, okay? Yeah. So I'm not very good at doing paperwork and all, but I go down and drop the cat off. She said, would you take the cat to the vet? So I did. I got down to the vet's office, and uh, the lady said to Mr. Easter, you got to fill out this paperwork. I said, I don't do that. Sherry does all the paperwork. I don't spell good. I don't read good. <laughs> she said, I'll help you if you have any questions. Let me know. So I got the paper, and that's the first thing they asked me is name. I said, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> then it said pet's name. I said, Puddin'. Ma'am, hey, spell pudding. So she helped me spell pudding. Then it got down to a word I didn't recognize. The word was euthanize. Oh. So I asked the lady, I said, ma'am, what's that word mean? She said, oh, that just means to put your cat to sleep. So I just got to thinking, if I was going to have that surgery, I'd want to be put to sleep. <laughs> so I checked, yeah, it wasn't for $15. So I didn't think nothing about it. Got back home. Sherry was jumping up and down. The vet's office had called Sherry and asked, uh, what was wrong with the cat? Sherry said, there's nothing wrong with the cat. She said, well, Jeff just signed to euthanize this cat. So Sherry looks at me, do you not know what euthanize means? I said, yes, I know what euthanize means. It means put your cat to sleep. She said, no, it means to kill your cat. I said, well, it should have said kill your cat. So let me get my cat. Y'all got to see Puddin. Oh, we my have gosh. Puddin. He is see Puddin. 
<laughs> he's going on 16. Got to be going on 16. Yeah, Bring him on, on in here. He's right out under the carport, and uh, he'll sleep under the carport, and then he always leaves me a prize every morning on top of my car. Like what? <laughs> like what cats do. Kill things. This button. Check him out. Let me see. You got to see Putin, Mark. <laughs> he's got. Oh, he's got an eye right there that's out. You oh see? Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> that's an evil eye. That it won't just, close. You know what but I love about that story? It actually happened. It's a true story. <laughs> I love. The, I love it's, true stories. They're so much better than when you make them up. Do you like cats, Mark? I don't really like cats. I think they're evil. I've never seen a witch with a dog. No, I think I'm losing you guys again. Shoot. Oh, not again. Not again. Hey, when Jeff and I first got married, uh, I asked for a cat because I always had cats. He didn't want a cat. So Morgan turns about eight or nine years old, bats her little baby blue eyes at him and says, Daddy, can I have a kitty? And so we ended up with a cat. But we do have dogs, we have a cat, and we have a bird. Well, y'all, I evidently have lost the picture, but I still hear you. Tell them about oh. your homecoming coming up. Hello? Go ahead, baby. Can you hear me? Mother's Day weekend, Mark, coming up May the 10th, 11th, and 12th. We got Ernie Hawson Signature Sound coming in, uh, along with the Irwins and Little Roy Lewis on Thursday. And then Friday, the Isaacs and the Lewis Tradition. And, of course, Jeff and Sherry's out all three nights. Then Saturday, we have the Printed Quartet, Easter Brothers, Madison and Shannon. And then my daddy will do Mother's Day, uh, preaching Mother's Day morning. And, uh, Morgan, can you still hear me? Yes, sir. Well, how's the married life? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful. Is is it? That sounds like Sherry. Sherry, are you sure that's Morgan? <laughs> it's, it's Morgan. <laughs> they sound. Y'all sound alike. That is. We fun. do. Well, I'm sorry we didn't have a better signal, but this is the beginning of uh, the inter, You know, this Facebook Live stuff, and and uh, but gosh, we'll have to do it again when we can get a better signal. We'll do it. We'll do it. Jeff ran to try to catch and see what the issue might be, but oh yeah, you know, if he can't, it can't be fixed. Well, y'all live at now. Your homecoming is where in Georgia? Lincolnton, Georgia. Lincolnton, Georgia. It's a little hometown in Lincolnton, Georgia. We're right across the South Carolina line. All right. So All right. about seven miles across from McCormick, South Carolina. About forty miles from Augusta, where they have the Mac Masters. Yeah. Well, y'all, I'm sorry that we can't, uh, the picture froze, but I can still hear them. Oh. Hey, listen, thank y'all for uh, spending your Monday evening with me, even though it was not quite what I'd hoped, but oh. as, far, as far as the signal here. But I'm in Las Vegas, and we're going to go eat. And uh, then I'm in Tulsa this weekend. And, and, and then Branson, where are you guys this weekend? We're in Sanford, North Carolina, with Ivan Parker, his homecoming with the Harvesters, uh, Ivan Brothers there. And then we will be in Tipton, Georgia, on Saturday night at the First Assembly of God at 6 o'clock. And then we're in uh, Music City Cruise. We leave Sunday with Scott Godsey and all the crowd on Music City Cruise. Well, that sounds like fun. Well, I love you guys, and have a good evening. Love you, buddy. All right, bye bye. All right, listen, y'all. Before bye. I, bye bye, you guys. I love you. Before I tell bye, you, I love you, all right. Let me see here. I don't know how to quit that. I think the before I leave, I thought I'd ask. Please tell Jeff loved his song with his dad. Oh, I will tell him you said that. Isn't that a great song? I love that song. Hello, Penny Little. It says right there, Penny Little. Here, let me take Jeff, that Jeff and Sherry. All right. Well, listen, guys. I love you all. Take care, and I will talk to you later. I'm not done yet. Now we'll tell y'all bye. Bye. <laughs>